Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Ronin, a turn-based action game. Really is the only way I can describe it. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start a brand new game, and our job is apparently to kill this man. There are five of them. Old man will be first. He knows he deserves to die. To find him, I need to hack the network. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, controls, as far as I understand, are WASD, which uh, apparently that's telling me now. Got my sword. Um, you move your mouse around and you can choose where to jump to. Okay. And then I go ahead and crash through that window. Come down. It's kind of laggy. Hopefully, it's not coming through in the video. Um, so let's go ahead and go up here. Yeah, it's kind of slow, I think. I don't know. We'll see. And we have objectives that we need to do. As you saw, we have to hack the networks. Uh, but we also have to do three things to complete each objective. And they're the same objectives as far as I know for the first few uh, levels. So the first one is kill all enemies. The second one is that you do not want to attack or kill civilians, nor do you want them to see you. And um, number three is you don't want any alarms to go off. So first guy that we're going to be fighting here uh he has a straight line on us so that's going to be his first attack he's already showing us his hand so we have the ability to jump out of the way now you can do it in one turn which is what i'm showing here or if you keep going you'll see where it turns red and that's where you're going to stop and start your next turn uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do it in one turn. Uh, there we go. Then jump a little bit over him. And there we go. There, he's gone. But yeah, you want to make sure that you kill everyone. Don't set off any alarms. As well as uh, don't kill civilians or don't let civilians see you killing other people. All right, and we'll go ahead and take this guy down. And there we go. Now the nice thing about this game is you do have a grappling hook. So you can actually go out this window and grab on to come down and kill him. And it really is going to be useful in the next level whenever we need to actually um, get into rooms without being detected or there's something that I'll end up showing you um, with the skill points that we get um, as long as we complete the, the level correctly. So we'll go ahead and attack him first. Give us the first uh, attack. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to this guy because um, the other guy will have to re... Well, actually, because it's going to do it two turns, he has to resituate himself. But he's going to resituate himself before the two turns. Okay, there we go. Now, what you'll see here is I had all these five uh, circles. They had yellow in them. And because I got all five, it gives me a limit break, which is a second turn within my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And take him out. Hack the server. And then we're done for this level. And I believe we killed everyone. And, yep. And it's telling us to go ahead and get to our motorcycle. Oh. 
All right, complete, complete, and complete. So we're going to go ahead and choose our skill. So you have three skills that you can start with. Uh, one is stealth kill. You can throw your sword, or you can have a decoy. Now, throwing your sword and having a decoy, you have to have initially knock someone down or finish an attack where you've killed somebody to have points enough to be able to use them. I'm going to go ahead and start off with stealth kill and see how that goes. So we'll go ahead and go back and continue. It's not a very healthy looking family. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go up there. So this, I'm going to go ahead and show you the stealth uh, aspect. Since I got that uh, ability, there are things that you can do with it that allow you to um, clear areas faster uh, than you would have before. So, as you'll see here, he's not going to see me, so I'm going to be able to insta-kill him. Uh, it doesn't require any limit break, which is lovely. And then the next guy is right there, so I'm going to go ahead and come around. Now, I'm going to go up, and we have an alarm being called, but until he has, gets down to one, uh, we're fine. There we go. Here's a civilian. You saw that it gives me the option to kill him. You don't want to kill him unless you absolutely have to. But you also need to make sure that you don't get seen. Alright. Moving through here pretty fast. Yeah, for some reason these guys won't just draw their gun and try to find me or attack me. This is my favorite part of the game. Not really, um, it's, it's one of those little things that I really like and that's the elevator music. Hopefully you can hear that. It's, it's, I don't know why I like it, but you'll get used to it. All right, so we'll come out and attack him. And we can actually bring this up right behind this guy and kill him. And you'll see that as long as you follow the shadows, you'll be able to do pretty much anything you want in this. Uh, everyone can pretty much see everyone. So I'll go ahead and go for him first. Go back to him because the other guy is knocked down. Kill him. Limit break. And nice. Okay, so now we just need to go over here. There's a third guy on the outside, so might as well get him. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean for that to happen. Nice. Uh, never uh, been able to get that ability to just take him out right then. Alright, let's just angle and boom. Moving through this pretty darn fast. <laughs> Actually, uh, I thought it was going to take a little bit longer to get through this, uh, this first kill uh, to the old man. So we'll go ahead and get him and then I think that's yes to the motorcycle. And we got another skill point. And um, we'll go ahead and try something that I haven't used before. 
which is the decoy. Uh, normally I would have gone with this because it stunts everyone in the room, but the decoy may end up being better. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. So there's two old men, actually, unless that's a grandma, I don't know. Alright. Okay. I, I feel this level was made for, uh, for the stealth. Actually, the last one was too. Uh, come on. I'm trying to get really close to him. Alright, so we want to make sure that we... By the way, if you're trying to figure out what's happening within the map and you're, you don't like that you're stuck with this view, you can actually hold the right mouse button and move up to where it's easier to see what's going on and we can go all the way up here's the old man and we have some more things coming up ahead so he's going through there I'm gonna go ahead and hide up here again here's two civilians so we need to make sure that this door is closed before we actually take him down Because if we don't, they will actually see him on the ground and um, end up calling the authorities, as it were. Alright, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, and we have this guy right away. And I'm going to go ahead and go up. And swing it. Uh, I could take him out right now, but then I'd die. <laughs> oh, I can't do either of those things. Oh, give me the ability. Oh, he's going to cut through me. He's going to cut through me if I do. I'm going to have to go straight up. Oh, wow. What? Oh, nice. Oh, oh wow. Okay. No. Okay, he's gone. Going to pick up our device and then we'll go ahead and kill him nice it was a great uh great fight there which way would you like it old Madden? <laughs> don't want to get blood on his walls Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, get down here and get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, man. What? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna just take it. I'm gonna take it. I could have swore. I could have swore they were gonna. I can't take him. 
got it. Nice. Now I just have to deal with him. And he'll be pretty easy. Alright. That was, uh... Sorry for the silence during those kinds of things. Oh, by the way, did I have my... Yep. You don't have to pick it up. It's, it's gonna go ahead and be with you on the next round, but... I like to have it. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. We got through the first kill in this game. And I think it went pretty well. I uh, was kind of worried several times there. But at least uh, at least we got it done. Before we go, I'll go ahead and select our new ability. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this. Because... This is going to be very, very helpful in the the things to, to come. So hopefully I see you in the next episode. This is Cypher Deck. Please let me know if you like it in the comments. Like it if you like it. And please subscribe if you're a new viewer. Uh, have a great day. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.